What's poppin' everybody? Several Fine Four, bringing you guys Pokemon sets from past formats. Just like with EX Deoxys, we have a real lovable, a real favorite of mine today. And we're going to look at EX Emerald. And uh, man, just like EX Deoxys, just like almost all of the EX sets, this set is just such a classic, such an excellent set for me. Just so many cards that I really like, all the memories, and uh, basically the booster box, the actual like cardboard box art with Rayquaza from this set is probably like my favorite uh, booster box my favorite sort of art my favorite sort of design it's just amazing really really amazing and this set also brings us a lot of uh, competitive cards that really did a lot of shit now this set is actually an exclusive uh, Western set an English set it didn't happen in Japan there's no like equivalent for EX Emerald I believe there were just a bunch of other like mini sets or just a bunch of promos that were released on the loose and they combined those and they created EX Emerald uh, for our English release something like that I'm not completely uh, sure but yeah I think it it, it basically is uh, a combination of promotional cards and a lot of the cards basically that are in here they were either in the Japanese equivalent for EX Deoxys and other sets because when the video game, the Emerald was released, they decided, hey, you know, we're going to save the Deoxys, the Speed Deoxys for this set and the equivalent cards to make that sort of a tie in together with the video game when Emerald got released. Uh, but anyways, I think that's uh, what I remember anyway. We're going to look at some interesting cards. I think I'm going to start with the most important stuff, the EXs, and uh, let's look at the last card though we got the box topper here or secret air we refer to this as box topper it's basically your the secret rare that you are gonna get or the card that's it's not you don't get this in a booster you just open up the booster box and you find it sort of loose there at the top that's why they call it box topper but in a way it's sort of like, like the secret air I think uh, ex deoxys didn't have that or they just in a few sets they uh, drop them and then they would bring them back in this case. We just have farfetch just draw a card and you do 30 with no stab and Tend to yourself not that good, but it looks nice at the very least Good old farfetch duck Now the cool thing about this set is that it actually has some of the most beautiful energies. These are probably some of my favorites too uh, the hollow uh, energies I, th I think this these are like the original hollow energies we have grass here, uh, the emerald energies, that's what we call them. We've got the background right here, looking really cool. Now these, along with the Holland Phantom and the um, EX Power Keeper energies, are like the best energies, basically, from the EX era. And then when Color Legends and the, uh, well, the Color Legends and the original Heart Gold Soul Silver brought the energies with the silhouette design with the Pokemon featured there and you know places in Johto. Those are probably the most uh, favorite for most people, but these are up there too. Very, very beautiful. Pretty expensive to get now too. We have for each type that was released back then, minus colorless. Anyway, so this is another reason why this set is pretty special. Now the EXs, all of these guys, just just about any every EX here is great for me it's just great in some form or another a lot of my third generation favorite pokemon you got your altaria cacton camerupt deoxys you got melodic medichamp you got the reggies cool shit okay so let's go with order uh we got altaria ex first 100 hp pokemon and no resistance but no weakness either which is pretty interesting and it's got one retreat cost, so the stats are pretty okay, I would say. Uh, 100 HP was standard for stage 1 EXs, I guess. And uh, having no weakness is pretty pretty cool. It means you don't have to worry about dragon, all the dragon and colorless hate that was back in that era. So we have Mist, it's Poke Body. Any damage done to Altari EX by attacks from stage 2 of all Pokemon is reduced by 30. So it's a good counter to stage 2 Pokemon. It's going to put a good fight against them, a block and 30 damage. That's pretty strong. You do dive one for twenty. That's not really that impressive for an EX, but I guess you do it with any energy. And then Dragon Mist 
you do 74 uh, water, lightning, and colorless. And it's not affected by resistance, poker powers, poker bodies, and any other effects. The important thing though is that you can still hit for weakness. So it basically negates all of the annoying stuff that could get in the way of your damage. And uh, it's like the shred of uh, back then, you could say. So if you hit a dragon weak Pokemon, colorless weak Pokemon for weakness, you're going to do 140. Uh, that's not quite enough to knock out Salamence EX. But I think you just need a few more add-ons and you, you are able to do it. But it's going to get over a lot of shit. Like resistance, you don't care about any other effects. Pokebot is Pokepars. So this wasn't a really, really competitive Pokemon, but it does have a few tricks. You could see it. it does have a few things going for it. Mist, Dragon Mist. A lot of mist in this Pokemon. It looks lovely. I own this card. Alright. Next up we got Cacturn. I own most of these cards. I basically like wasted all of my money to get them <laughs> when it was too late. Uh, but we got Cacturn EX looking pretty fly here. And from what I remember, he's actually pretty good too. He's a good attacker. So his stats are also standard. Uh, 110 HP is great when you only have one retreat cost. We got Curse Glare. As long as Cacturn EX is your active Pokemon, your opponent can't attach any special energy cards except for Darkness and Metal from his or her hand to their active Pokemon. So good, great body. Uh, when this guy's active, it gives a good lock uh, effect to your opponent. Special energies were at their best during the third generation. All of our strongest, most creative, and you know, busted, crazy special energy cards were basically released in that generation. There were so many special energies to choose from, from scramble, boost, rainbows, all sorts of variants of rainbows, regular rainbow, double rainbow. Man, you got the special dark for the rockets and a lot of shit, man. The Team Magma, Team Aqua, so many special energies. And you basically prevent your opponent from attaching them. Uh, you, they can only do uh, dark and metal, which I guess, I mean, metal and dark Pokemon didn't have any other, didn't have their basic energies. Uh, they didn't exist as basics. So I guess you give them give them a pass, but if it blocked those two, it would have been even better. But all of the boost energies, scramble energies, all these busted energies, it's going to block them being attached to the active Pokemon. So it's pretty good. So a good body to have, not bad. And then we got Psybeam. I don't know why you have Psybeam. Cacner doesn't learn this attack. But uh, I think, at least, maybe he, he does learn it. Anywho, uh, in the games, you do 20 for 1, and at least you can you instantly confuse the opponent too, I guess. So better than Altaria. So, okay, decent. And then Spike Rend, uh, if the defending Pokemon has already damage counters on, you do 20 more damage. So 70 for 3, no drawback. So it's solid. It's pretty solid. It's not the most busted uh, attack in the world during that era, but it's pretty solid. You're not going to see Pokemon doing basically 70 for 3 for no reason. Uh, stage 1 EXs anyway. So it's okay. Uh, there's other Pokemon that can basically do the same shit for three, but you know it's okay. It's decent. It's a nice little Pokemon. You got Curse Glare too. All right, Cacturn EX, pretty solid. We got Camerup DX. I think I actually don't own this card, but I need to get it. Oh no, actually I think I do have this one as well. I bought it. Uh, anyway, 120 HP, good stats once again for an EX for back then. Uh, it's got Magma Armor, can't be asleep or paralyzed, so pretty good. You don't have to worry about uh, those status conditions, always a nice thing to have. And got Searing Flame, does 30 for 2, and then Instant Burn. Okay, pretty okay. With the Burn, you also negate your opponent's Pokebot powers, so it's nice. And then Eruption, classic uh, camera up attack, you basically, each player is going to discard the top card of their deck. And you do 20 more damage for each energy card discarded this way. So, you discard, if, if you and your opponent discard an energy, you're doing 100 for 3, which is as good as you, you're going to do. Now, you can combine this with the EX Deoxys uh, Macargo, the Macargo we have today basically remade. Put an energy there and discard it, and you, do, you always do 80 for 3, solid damage, I suppose. 
once again, not a really super crazy competitive Pokemon, but uh, the great thing about the EX era and kind of like what they sort of do with Sun and Moon is that there's a lot of just solid Pokemon in general. It's like everybody's in a sort of even playing field with some exceptions. A lot of mini good effects here, as you guys can see. You know, Camera has a nice little Poke, poke Body. Uh, Cacturn also had something useful too. You know, they, they have little things here and there and doesn't make them completely useless. So Eruption is a solid attack. Uh, good Pokemon. And then we got Deoxys EX, the speed one. Uh, cool, definitely cool. They got form change, like all of the Deoxyses. You can, before you attack, switch your deck for another Deoxys and switch it with Deoxys EX. Now, it has to be an EX. So, I do believe that uh, there's the ones that swap for regular Deoxys too. And you basically, they have, you still keep the energies, you put the damage counters on, uh, all that stuff. And it does fast wave use any energy to use this attack and it won't be affected by resistance poke bodies poke powers anything and you do 50 now it also hits for weakness which is a good thing uh, but 50 for 3 is not the greatest 110 HP is actually pretty good for a basic EX Pokemon especially considering this is like the speed one like the defensive one has 90 and this this one has 110 so a little weird but you know it just it'd be good if it had a better attack but the Deoxys the strategy is you basically swap them around and you get the one with the corresponding attack for the situation so I don't know how good it actually is but I guess it's solid I suppose and next up we got Dusclops EX and then we're gonna get to the really good stuff uh, this Pokemon is also pretty good from what I remember it can do some interesting tricks you got Dark Hole as long as Dusclops EX is on your bench don't apply darkness weakness for all your Pokemon in play. So yeah, it basically protects all of your ghosts. That's where it was usually ghosts that were weak to dark, as they are now basically. And as long as this guy's in your bench, you basically protect the rest of your guys, your other Dusclops, Benetis, what have you, Gengar maybe. And it's Shadow Beam attack. You put two damage counters on the defending Pokemon for each. Energy attached to Dusclops EX. So, I guess if you have, uh, let's see, uh, defending Pokemon, right. So if you have uh, two, you're going to do 40 for two. You got three, you do 60. But it's in the form of an effect. So that is not so great. You can only hit the active two. Hmm. Yeah, it, it's not a great attack, so I guess only the body is sort of decent. Uh, of course, it does have a double resistance, though, to fighting and colorless, and only one weakness to darkness. So, it's got that, I guess, but it's not the greatest attacker. I mean, like I've said, there's a bunch of uh, special energies that maybe you can exploit and do free damage like that, but uh, it should have been like three. It should have been like three per energy. That's this is my opinion. Okay, Dusclops EX. Uh, he's I think he's the weakest from all of the uh, ones here so far. And now we're gonna look at the opposite of that, Metachamp EX. This is probably the strongest Pokemon from this set that was very competitive. Uh, Jason Klasinski used this deck uh, during that era too. It was one of his main decks, and he won a lot of shit with it. And it's basically a super competitive card that was released at basically at the right time to block a lot of shit. So with Wise Aura, this Poke Body, Metachamp basically, as long as it's active, uh, both your both you and your opponent can't use any Poke Powers. Is this right? Each Pokemon, yeah, excluding Pokemon EX, can't use any Poke Powers. So with this, you blocked Pidgeot of all Pokemon, which was very busted. And you're going to block a lot of other guys too. Like... I believe you blocked, yeah, Macargo you could block, you could block uh, Lodicolo too, you could block, wow, like fucking uh, Blaziken. So you basically negated almost everybody and you were a Pokemon. This isn't like a stadium or anything. So that's pretty intense. And it's got good attacks too. With pure power, you put three damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. 
So it's basically like a 30 for 2, but having the ability to put the damage counter any way you like, it's pretty cool. You can spur it around or target specific Pokemon. So definitely a good first attack. And then Sky Kick, uh, you do 60 for 3, and if the defending Pokemon has a fighting resistance, you do 40 more damage. So that's pretty cool because a lot of Pokemon back then resisted fighting. So having this effect basically nullifies the fighting resistance and also you do even extra. You do like 10 extra. Resistance was, I believe, 30 in all Pokemon back then. And this way, you not only negate that, but you do 10 extra. Uh, doing 40. So pretty good. Uh, it's not going to be like uh, one hit knockout sort of damage, like you're going to kill big Pokemon with this attack. But this Pokemon, of course, is like something like Seismitoad X. You basically have this dude active, you stun the opponent, make their life very hard, and you slowly do damage. Stun deck, lock deck, very powerful. Uh, I think this did win a world championship. This uh, is in a world championship sort of deck that was printed and uh, I think the dude that won basically like had like nine Pokemon in something like that or just even fewer it was basically just a couple of Pokemon and it was just Medichamp basically and a few support Pokemon like Jirachi so pretty intense uh, intense lock deck very competitive card next up we got probably my favorite from this set I mean it, it, it's tough I really like a lot of them Camerupt, Encactor, and Altaria, Deoxys. Uh, even Dusclops looks pretty cool, even if it's not so great. But Milotic EX is definitely something. Damn, this card is expensive. I came close to buying it and uh, missed my chances. And uh, wow, I, I don't know. I, don't, I still don't think I have it. Or if I do, I paid a lot of money to get it. But it's got 130 HP, which is excellent for a stage 1 EX. Uh, two retreat costs, but it's okay. And it has Mystic Scale, also has a Poke Body. As long as Melodic Sisks is in play, each player can't play any technical machine cards from his or her hand. So you don't have to be active, but once again, it basically gives you a stunning effect. Uh, blocks technical machine cards, which were basically tool cards, and you discard all technical machine cards in play. And it's got Gentle Wrap, you do 30 for 1, defending Pokemon can retreat and Reflect energy, you do 70 for 3, and you move one basic energy attached to Melodic to one of your bench Pokemon. So an excellent attack. Not only do you do 70 for 3, which is good, you can conserve an energy too, which is excellent. Only one weakness, very high HP for back then. Uh, just a very solid Pokemon. Now the body, even though it's useful to have something like this, as I've stated earlier, having you know mini effects like these, uh, blocking technical machines, that's kind of very... It's very limiting. There's only a couple of cards that you block this way. It's not as busted as, that, as what Metachamp EX does. But it's pretty cool. Really lovely. And Raichu EX next. Uh, this guy is also pretty strong. I think this guy does some strong shit. You got Rai Shield. Damage done to any of your Raichu EX in play from attacks from your opponent's Pokemon EX reduced by 30. And you can't use more than one of these bodies. Okay. So, it's going to be a good counter to EX Pokemon in a way, since it blocks damage from them. And you can do Power Short, which is one of your opponent's Pokemon. It does 30 damage to that Pokemon. And if that Pokemon has Poke Powers, it does 20 more. So, 50. Wow. Okay, so this is the good attack here. So, already this Pokemon is pretty good. It's got a useful body block in EX Pokemon. It has a sort of attack like the Shift Tree EX from Crystal Guardians, where it's going to do more damage to specific Pokemon. So Pokemon with bodies, you do 50 of them. Snipe, that's pretty good. And then Pika Bolt, what a name. You always do 70 for 4. So that's not as good as, let's say, Milotic from what we've seen. But I guess it balances out. It has a better first attack. Uh, it's got a really good Poke Body, Free Retreat, 100 HP, really good Pokemon. Uh, you definitely can use this as a Poke Power Hate Pokemon. A lot of the best cards have Poke Powers, so you combine this with a few other cards. I think Jason Klasinski does have a deck featuring this card, so you guys should check it out if you want to learn 
very nice Raichu as well. And now all that stuff is the Regis. Uh, the Regis in here, are, I think, are better for the most part than the ones from Hidden Legends. So let's look at Regi ICX first. I was about to say Jirachi for some reason. 100 HP, big retreat cost, so uh, standard, I guess, for you. You got Ice Beam, 10. Flip a coin if heads, paralysis, okay. Not that special. And then Iceberg, Cra Iceberg Crush. I have Regirock CX is in play. Flip a coin if heads, discard an energy card attached to defending Pokemon. And you do 40. So this guy is definitely worse. So scratch what I said, I guess. We're going to find out, but he's not really that good. Uh, I think even the Regi Ice from the Hidden Legend set is probably better. I mean, it's just pretty generic attacks for any X, so bad card. It's too bad because it looks good. Like, you do have the damn energy removal effect, I guess, but 40 for 3, man. It should have been like 50 at least. Anyway, Regirock X, I think this guy is good, though. It's got 110 HP, so that's good with the same 3 retreat. And you can do Mend it. You search your Discopal for Fighting Energy and attach it to Regirock. And you heal a damage counter from this dude as well. So you don't do damage, but this is still Energy Acceleration and you heal yourself. And for back then, that's pretty good. And you got Metal Crush. If Regi still the X is in play, you can do 40 more damage. Uh, this attack does 40 damage plus 20 more damage. Yeah, so you can do 60 for 3. Not really super special, but you know if you have Regi still the X anyway... It's just a nice, costless 60 for 3 attack, I guess, on this dude. Uh, not really anything special, but it's better than Regi Ice, that's for sure. Yep, yep. Gotta remember, these are basic Pokemon, too. And then we got Registeel EX. Uh, 90 HP and 2 Retreat. Okay, if Regi Ice EX is in play, you flip a coin if heads confusion with 10. That sucks, major balls. And White Laser does 20 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. So that's actually a decent attack, White Laser. If your opponent has a full bench, you're basically doing, let's see, 20 times 6. That's 120 for 3. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Now, you might think it's better to just do 10 for 1 on a Pokemon like Swampert. We're going to look at pretty soon. But I guess it's something. There's other Pokemon that can do this spread attack. Perhaps better. But th these are the X's. Uh, the Regis aren't so good, I would say. Raichu, Malolic, Malotic, Medichamp are definitely very good. Camerop, Cacturn, even Lotaria, they're quite good. Deoxys, I'm not so sure. And Dusclops is kind of weak, too. I'd say the Regis are probably the worst, though. Uh, they kind of got to be together to work, get their effects, and they're not even that great. Okay, so now let's look at some other interesting Pokemon. Uh, look at some of the hollows. We got a lot of interesting Pokemon here. Maybe not so competitive, but we do have some stuff. As you guys can see, we have another Blaziken card here. Uh, it's okay, but basically, uh, when you have a Blaziken with the Fire Starter, it basically establishes it, that you're going to use that guy instead of any other Blaziken. So this guy is an offensive one uh, with Blaze. If you have 40 HP or less, it does more damage. It's got some solid attacks, a damage burn. If any Pokemon has damage counters on it, it does 70 like Hacturn. So interesting stuff. Comes in the Emerald deck too, I guess. It's not bad. It's just you're going to use Blaziken from, with Firestarter for as long as you have it. And Blaziken EX. Then we got Deoxys, the speed one. So they basically saved it up to release it on this Emerald set. Uh, because it's basically, it appears in Emerald, uh, this new form, when the video game came out. I don't like this card. It always had some sort of uh, this sort of zooming of its face art. I never liked it, and it actually has a shit attack too. Just 30 for two. Uh, basically, like the Deoxys Speed X. The only difference is you do less damage, and you it works with two energy, I guess. And it has form change. You can change it with a regular Deoxys too. So yeah, whatever. I don't like it. Next up, we got Exploud. What do you do? It's got four fucking attacks. Wow. So, 
This is actually the first Pokemon that has four attacks. A lot of people mistake, I think, Tyranidar. Tyranidar EX from Unseen Forces that had four, but this is the first one, I believe. I mean, we have it right here, four attacks. Uh, it's got Collect, you draw, you got Body Slam, and you got Hyper Voice, 50, and then Mega Throw. If any Pokemon is a Pokemon EX, you do basically 100 damage for five. So, a lot of interesting attacks for any situation, works with any energy, so it's flexible. Uh, but it wasn't really the greatest. Uh, once you evolve, you probably don't want to use your stage two GX, your stage two Pokemon to draw cards. Uh, Hyper Voice is just standard, I guess. Mega Throw is a good attack against EXs. Uh, decent, I guess. Decent. Except we got Gardevoir. Same thing. It's a decent Pokemon. Basically, all it does. It's you can use the Poke Power to heal 20 from any one of your Pokemon. You can't stack this effect, but having an extra potion in a form of an effect every turn might be good. You might activate some of the attacks that want to be healed for them to get their uh, maximum output. There's always attacks like that. That if this Pokemon got healed, you do more damage. That sort of thing. Uh, so maybe you use Gardevoir with that. Uh, it's basically, it's probably the weakest Gardevoir card out of all the Gardevoir cards from this set. I just, every, every other Gardevoir card I remember is better. But if you want to do the healing shit, you have it. Uh, the attacks aren't so good either. Alright. We got Groudon and Kyogre in here. Now these are the hot cards. Really sweet looking holo cards. This guy does Slash. You can do Rock Tumble. Uh, good. Good uh, shit for a basic Pokemon, 80 HP. It doesn't give a, a double prize. Uh, for back then, it's, it's good stuff. It doesn't look impressive, but it's good. Having 80 HP, doing 40 is not going to be affected by resistance. Uh, nice, nice stuff. And then Kyogre. This one looks pretty fucking bloody beautiful. Uh, I swear to God, they modeled after the Primal Clash full art from this in a way. But that's just me. Maybe I'm crazy. It looks excellent though. You do Ram and Aquasonic 40 for 3, not affected by resistance. Good shit. Next up we got Hollow Manectric. Uh, what do you do? You do Swift 20 for 2, not affected by weakness or anything else. Effects, okay, not so good. And then Tail Shock does 10 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon, and you do 40 for 3. Okay, so a decent attack. Uh, you're gonna do like what 90 if they have a full bench for three. I suppose that's decent. Uh, usually, when when these Pokemon do spread and do base damage, they usually give them generous output. Like if you get the maximum total, you're gonna do a lot of damage because it's in the form of spread. Uh, they're more generous, letting them do more damage. For example, you're not gonna see a Pokemon doing like 90 for 3, but if it's in the form of spread, uh, you're going to get that extra effect, maybe. We got Hollow Milotic 2, looking really slick. You could do Surf, okay, that's not impressive. And Super Hypno Wave, 50, and if you get the coin flip, you put your opponent to sleep. Okay, not impressive. Like I've said, this this set you got to keep in mind, there's a lot of promotional cards. Uh, not really meant to be super good. We have this Rayquaza that looks like a fucking genie the way it appears. Uh, pretty cool though. You do Dragon Claw, 40 for 3, that's not so good, especially when you need two energies. You got Dragon Dance though, during your next turn. If any of your current active Pokemon does damage, does 30 more damage. Even if you switch, you get the effect off, so not bad, I guess, in a way. Next we got Sepital, pretty iconic. I remember this card. It's just a lot of memories when we had the fake cards, uh, me and my brother and my friend, and we built decks, we really didn't know what we were doing, but just a lot of the images and the art that just sticks out to me. I know these cards. Uh, man, I would kill to get a booster box from this set, too. Green Essence. As long as Sepital is in play, each of your active Pokemon that has grass energy can be affected by special conditions. So Verizion the X is... You know, 
ability in a way. So pretty good. 100 HP is not maybe the best for a 2 or 3 cost 2, but it has a water resistance. You can do Razor Leaf and Swift. Uh, it's not so good, but I guess the body might be good. Not bad. We got Swampert. This card is definitely good though. I talked about it ages ago in my top 10 uh, Swampert cards. Looks beautiful and it actually looks, and it's actually quite good. When I was a kid, I didn't like this card. I thought it was like uh, one of the not so good Swampert cards just because of I was always looking at, oh, you know, the other ones have more HP, so they're better. <laughs> and I, I always liked high HP and big attacks. Like, that's all I cared about. But this is actually very good. With a Water Cyclone, you may move water energies from your active Pokemon to your bench Pokemon. So you can do the scoop up shenanigans, healing shenanigans, and conserving energy shenanigans, all this good stuff. Uh, you got good attacks too, spinning tail, does 10 to everybody, your opponent, for any energy. And then Aquasonic, doing 60 for 3, solid, and not affected by resistance. So, great Pokemon, for sure. You're probably going to use this more for the supporting, for the Poke Power, that sort of role. But even if you just do 60, like if they can't get knockouts on you, you do 60, you know, you heal yourself, you get the energies back, and then you uh, do 60 again. You know, it's pretty good. Uh, we didn't really have max potion back then, but we did have the uh, uh, captain, the dude from Pedal Pedalbrook with Wingle. I forgot his name, Bryony. Uh, yeah, uh, Captain Bryony. Uh, I think that's what his name was. <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, you guys should know the card. Briny's Compassion, I think it was called, yeah. So, you use that. And uh, we got more Groudon and Kyogre. I gotta look at those, for sure. Show me, show me. So this one does a Slash. And it's got Eruption. Each player discards top card of the deck. You do 40 damage, plus 10 more for each energy discarded. All right, so like camera up the X, and then we got Kyogre. What do you do? Scary face and Hydro Pump does 40 damage plus 10 more damage for each Water Energy attached to Kyogre, but not used to pay the attack cost, and you can't add more than 20 damage. Hmm. So you can use this with something like Blasters, I guess, when it eventually would come out. Uh, and other Pokemon, even like Swampert from the first Ruby set. But there's probably better Pokemon. It is a basic though, so you got to keep that in mind. So I guess doing 60 uh, on a basic is, is not bad. Alright, and we have a lot of other shit too, but I'm going to be here all day. Let's look at this Clay doll because I like it. It has this sort of Clay art. It's a Clay doll and it has the Clay art star and it's sort of happy when you look at its eyes I, I love that shit it's got levitate as long as it has energies retreat cost is zero pretty cool attack isn't so great but you know it is what it is all right next we got dodrio i'm pretty sure this one no it doesn't have the retreat shit but i think there's somebody that has that stuff we got a bunch of grump picks here don't think you're any good. Let's check out the first one. Mm. So you can do 40 and then switch ground picks. So it has this hit, hit and switch for three energies. Okay, that's interesting. Next we got Lanoon. Haven't seen your ass in a while. Uh, doesn't do anything. Looks pretty cool though. And we got Nine Tails. Let's see what you do. Standard stuff, I guess. Uh, confuse Ray. You confuse, you do 10, and you burn with Steering Flame. We got Plusle and Minin. Uh, they don't work together this time, it seems. Don't do a lot of their wacky stuff. Oh, so you do have a body. As long as Minin has Lightning Energy, it has no weakness. Uh, okay. We got Swellow from my Swellow TCG overview. Uh, this Pokemon, it's skill dive. 
it should have been like a 50 for 3 snipe, then maybe it would have been decent, I suppose. But d doing 40 for 3, even if it's a snipe, it's kind of weak. Swalot, what do you do? Not much. Poisons, I guess, and you do 40. So I think I'm going to look at the trainers, because they're, they're definitely important. And then we'll wrap this. So the big one, big competitive card, best trainer card in a way, Battle Frontier. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I screwed up the effect when I was mentioning this card in Deoxys, but uh, right here we're going to look at it. It's basically each player's evolved. Colorless, Darkness, and Metal Pokemon can't use any Poke Powers or Bodies. So more hate for Pidgeot and a bunch of other Pokemon. Uh, it only hits evolved Pokemon, but yeah, you use this. You could basically easily combine this with Medicham too, and you have even more sort of uh, lock and hate. Just so many different things to lock and negate, basically. So Darkness Pokemon, uh, you also block some significant stuff. Metal Pokemon for sure. And you can't use Poke Bodies or Poke Power. So that's a lot of... Uh, it covers a lot of ground here. Damn. Uh, but definitely this was a... Pidgeot probably hated this card more than anything, I would say. Uh, it basically makes it uh, really hard to use when you have these sort of cards around. I give a lot of power to things like Ludicargo for sure. Alright. Next up we got Double Heal Reprint. Okay. A Lynette's Net Search Reprint. Lumberry. And Mr. Stone's Project. I believe this is the original card. Uh, yeah, it comes in this set. So you search your deck for up to two basic energy cards. Show them to your opponent. And put them into your hand, shuffle your deck, or you search your disco pile for up to two basic energy cards and you grab them. So you can basically act like a double energy search or a double or an energy retrieval basically from your disco pile. So it's it's quite good, it's flexible. Uh, you only get two cards, but you know it's okay. Uh, depending on your deck, this might be a very valuable card. So it's nice, good card. Featuring Steven's dad. With the Devon Corporation. Next up, we got Orenberry. At any time between turns, you move two damage counters and then you discard Orenberry. So it's like a potion that it's going to activate in a specific time. I guess it's more searchable since it's a tool, though. Next up, we got Pokemon Navigator, Pokenav. I think this might be the first time this got released. Uh, it, it's, emer it's an emerald, it's not a reprint. Uh, in that era, but this is basically the same effect as the Pokemon we have now. Difference is, it was it's probably better back then, but I mean, even back then, uh, there were probably better cards. Look at the top three cards of your deck. You get a basic Pokemon or Evolution card or Energy card, and you put them into your hand, and you put the other cards in any order. So it's okay for back then, I guess. What they should have done with the reprint in Celestial Storm is improve the effect though make it so that you reveal four or five cards. We got Professor Birch. Draw until you have six. I think this was released in Ruby, yeah. Rare Candy reprint. Scott, this is an original card for sure. For the Battle Frontier. So you got these cards basically. Like I've said, to tie in with the Emerald video game. Uh, and this card is pretty good. You search your deck for up to Three cards in any combination of supporter, stadium uh, cards, and you put them into your hand. So, yeah, you can basically get the Battle Frontier instantly with this, and that's pretty powerful. And you get a supporter for next turn. You can even get two stadiums and be ready when your opponent, if your opponent removes it. So, you know, pretty good. In a way, it kind of acts like uh, Cyrus Conspiracy, but I guess you don't get the energy to... A little sad. Good card, too. And then we got Wally's Training Reprint. Uh, you guys should know what it does. Darkness Energy, Metal Energy, Multi Energy. This is definitely a reprint, I believe. Uh, or might be the original set this card comes in. I don't remember. I really don't remember. It's been a while since I did this set from past formats. 
and checking all the older sets. But in this era, we had like a million multi-energy reprints. Uh, it got represented in many sets for some reason and never appeared again. It appeared only once in Mysterious Treasures and then we didn't see it again, basically. Double Rainbow Energy. I think this is a new card, though, for this set. Uh, can be attached only to an evolved Pokemon, excluding Pokemon EX, too. So it has that limitation. But it's going to provide every energy, of course. And defending the damage done to opponent's Pokemon uh, is reduced by 10. So this was basically like, uh, if we had a DC back then, it was this. Uh, from all the crazy energies we had, the only thing we didn't have is was DC. And that was probably for the best. But this is like the closest thing, maybe. Or maybe it's boost energy. It's going to give you the double energy effect. Uh, it actually provides every energy, not just colorless. But it can only be used to evolve Pokemon, non-EX Pokemon, and when you attack, you do 10 less damage, always. So it does have its costs, but it's a good thing. And I think this is basically a wrap, EX Emerald. It definitely does have a few competitive cards that were really big, very significant, but it's not as rich as other sets. Like, I would say it was not as rich as Deoxys or even other sets for sure, like Team Rocket, even Fire and Leaf Queen. But it definitely had its big cards. The EX cards, actually almost all of them are great in this set. The main ones anyway, not the Regis. Uh, Medicham was very big. The Battle Frontier Stadium was definitely very, very big. Other useful supporters like Stones Project and Scott. Uh, there are significant cards that made their way in a lot of decks. Oh yeah, and here's the shittiest Taylor card of all time. Uh, it does... For one energy, you flip a coin, and if tails, you're not going to do anything. And if heads, you just do 10. The base damage, everybody does, basically. So, yeah. Uh, God. It's too bad. It looks really good, too. But, yeah. Emerald, a set with promotional cards. Uh, it does have a lot of cool shit, though. Good stuff. So, I think I'm going to wrap this video. I talked about most of the important stuff, anyway. There's probably a lot of cool stuff still, but we're going to be here all day if I talk about them. Anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys subscribe, leave a like, share this with your friends, and I'll see you guys next time for more TCG shit. What up?